Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City up against Arsenal. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well for me Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner, he's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> Potentially exciting 90 minutes here. And Manchester City get the ball rolling. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Throw in here for Arsenal. No danger here as he runs at them. Xhaka. Firing it towards goal. Has a go. Oh, body in the way, crucially. And now having a go. One block after another. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee not hanging about here. He's decided to caution him, Stuart. And he's going to be under a lot of pressure now. That was a poor challenge. And using his strength, and the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Corner kick given to Arsenal. Delivering it. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Oh, a nice looking pass, but how well he did to react in that manner. Granite Jacker. <laughs> Terrific block. Gabriel Jesus. And back with Parte. Could play it in and making the run to the inside. Losing possession here. Gabriel Jesus. Parte. missed but by a minuscule margin well he couldn't have made better contact than that his technique is brilliant he's so unlucky there <laughs> he 
Laporte. Now the Silva. Joao Cancelo. And the advantage is with City. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming, and now a free kick. Bernardo Silva. Arsenal doing well to regain possession. Potential opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead. Corner kick it is. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And with that, the attack fizzles out. William Saniba. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva must take the lead here. And danger still. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And deciding to go short with this one. But he's got himself caught offside. Well, the players in the box have every right to be mad. That's a real waste. Alexander Zinchenko. Arsenal have given it away. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Well, he has the measure of his man. Can they take the lead here? De Bruyne. And now Rodri. Holland. Holland. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? And here we are, moving close to half-time, and Arsenal chasing the game. Stuart, what have you made of their performance to this point? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. They might be onto something. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Short corner it is. Walker. Oh, the threat is there. Foden. It might be. And a goal! They've had it to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Went in strongly to win the ball. And Bernardo Silva has it. And there we Into the second half then, and Arsenal with a real mountain to climb. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. And the referee deciding to admonish him, but not book him. I think that's good refereeing. It's a foul, but no more than that. Now, this could really lift spirits. Gabriel Jesus comes up with a goal. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. 
So back at action, and Arsenal just one behind now. Granit Xhaka. It's with Erdogan. Can he find the net? Oh, goodness me, he's hit the post. Clears it away. Well, Arsenal can't believe they're not level here, but they are looking dangerous at the moment. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, as an official, you have to be cautious when it comes to an injury situation like this one. start the game with a drop ball and the goalkeeper will claim it and promising stuff from Arsenal but the danger averted for now well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. A change of the offing for City. Arsenal have given it away. Arsenal's free kick here. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Rodri. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Gundogan. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Martin Odegaard, and support available. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw-in. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Coming onto the pitch, number five, John Stones. An Arsenal corner. Let's see about the delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Now the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Corner once more. Still not clear. White, Partey, and a strong tackle. Now can they create something? Mares, and no joy as far as the cross was concerned. And that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Well, Arsenal unable to hang on to the ball. And that'll be offside. Martin Odegaard. Saka. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Terrific block. 
Well, City, I think, deserve to be in front. They need to see this through, though. But what backing they're getting from these fans. The atmosphere is electric. He's taken on his opponent here. Not to be this time. And the keeper completely untroubled. Emile Smith-Rowe. Good-looking sequence. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And making the move to the inside. But quick thinking defensively. And slipped through by Ilkay Gundogan. And now waiting to pounce. And he clears it out of harm's way. The high press was very much on. Joao Cancelo. So the final whistle now. And disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for them. Your assessment? Well, Derek, it was a poor result. But it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way. But in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, a fine performance from Erling Haaland, really in line with what we expected, I think. Yeah, I think the only thing you could question, could he have been a touch more clinical in front of goal? Maybe he should have had two or three today. Regardless of that, it was a good performance and a great result.